Hello everyone and welcome to IAA Transport here in Hanover 2024. Welcome to the CATL booth. I think for most people, they tend to be more familiar with electric cars than they are for electric trucks. So what are the use scenarios for electric commercial vehicles? What kind of batteries are needed? What kind of battery technology is required? Come along with me today and let's take an in-depth look at the CATL booth to discover some more. So let's go. Just like different people rock different styles, CATL batteries strive to serve a variety of scenarios and meet the diverse needs of customers. Each product excels in its own unique setting. For instance, this is the BC5 series, a standard electrical box platform developed specifically for buses. The platform consists of three standard size boxes, B01, B02 and B05 paired with two types of battery cells with 200 amp hours and 268 amp hours. The design of the three box sizes provides a wide range of battery capacity options, catering to various customer needs in terms of energy capacity and voltage. Now, the BC5 box currently meets the requirements of eight years and 800,000 kilometers with the option for a 10 year extended warranty. In the future, a long life version with a lifespan of 15 years will be introduced. Pretty exciting, isn't it? The CE02 series is a large platform developed specifically for LCBs, including van and light truck models. This generation of products addresses the challenges of slow charging and short lifespan in logistics vehicle applications. This electrical box adopts a CTP structure design to increase the cargo volume by more than 10% compared to the previous generation. The series is equipped with conventional 2C fast charging capability, completing a 10 to 80% state of charge fast replenishment in just 21 minutes. So with this, drivers can now say goodbye to range anxiety. Now, the AD series is a new flagship product developed by CATL specifically for medium and heavy duty truck models. It aims to solve the core pain points of diverse application scenarios, wide model compatibility, and high operating intensity, providing an excellent battery solution for medium and heavy duty trucks worldwide. Now, this one here is quite the special one. It's the TEB series developed by CATL specifically for severe duty applications, such as urban construction and mining areas. So in addition to the different pack and system solutions that we've seen today, the cell as the most crucial component of the battery also comes with a range of differentiated cell solutions based on the different needs and usage scenarios. This 316 amp hour phosphate LFP battery cell adopts CATL's low lithium consumption, zero defect graphite technology for the negative electrode. It has a lifespan of up to 18,000 cycles and the battery energy density of this battery cell reaches 181 watt hours per kilogram and the volume energy density reaches 421 watt hours per litre thus better meeting the high load requirements of heavy duty truck swapping solutions. Now, jumping over here, this battery cell, the 95 amp hour battery cell, achieves a continuous fast charging capability of up to 3C and enables a peak regenerative charging capability of up to 6C. It has a lifespan of up to 12,000 cycles and fulfills the high rate battery cell requirements of fuel cell hybrid electric vehicle and plug-in hybrid electric vehicle models. Now, moving back towards the middle here, we have the 130 amp hour cell. This cell is a balanced type of cell specifically developed for the LCV vehicle platform, considering fast charging, long lifespan, and high specific energy characteristics. So what do you guys think? Do you think these have covered and enlightened your minds about the latest developments in commercial vehicle electrification? 
I'm so delighted to have the chance to have shared with you today some of the excellent work that CATL has been doing in the field of commercial vehicle batteries. Standing at the forefront of energy innovation, CATL is not only powering vehicles, it's powering the future. So thank you again for exploring with us and please do not forget to let us know your thoughts down in the comments section. Thank you and I'll see you next time.